Are you ready to play the game, panel? Oh, yes. yes. Yes, sir. Then may we have our first contestants, please. Will you yes, come right, in? Right. Now, let's find out who these ladies are and where they're from. And we'll start around this way, please. May Tooley Manford from Anderson, Indiana. Anderson, Indiana. And your name, please? Mary Crippen from Connorsville, Indiana. Yes, Miss Crippen. And your name? Isabel Kaltenbach Wilkerson from Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana all the way. Your name, please? Zeta Tooley Halls from Mount Pleasant near Muncie, Indiana. Near Muncie? And your name, please? Julia Maloney Herring, Westport, Indiana. And your name, please. Arvilla Hayes Adams from Anderson, Indiana. Well, now that we all know who we are, let's find out what your secret is that we're going to share with the audience at home. Ladies, if you lean in and whisper it to me, please. Oh, marvelous. Now, tell me more. Tell me more. Very fine. Panel, the clue concerns something they did together, and Faye, we're so glad to see you back. We're going to start with you, if you don't mind. Oh, heavens, I've forgotten how to play. No, I'm sure you haven't. Uh, this something that you did together, was it in the newspapers at the time? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Would it be considered a social event? Social event? Not really, though. No. Mm. Were there other people uh, who uh, were in this event with you, took part in it? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. were, there, were, that... were there other people? But you were you were the prime uh, you were the primary body. Yes, were you not concerned? Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, there were other people involved, but they're not mentioned in the secret. Uh, well, did this take place in, uh, let's say, like a hospital? No. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, did it take place um, in a church? No. no. Lost twenty dollars. We have sixty dollars to go. We go to Bill Cullen, please. I keep thinking are trying to think of one thing that six girls can do that's athletic, and there's one game that six girls play. Field hockey. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, does, does it have anything to do with athletics? No. <laughs> Forget. But you keep thinking about that game. I've already thought it. We've thought of some games. It has nothing to do with athletics. Does it ha have to do with education? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Were you all Betsy Palmer's teachers? Because no. she comes from India. <laughs> Well, you, does it have anything to do with Betsy? Because no. have anything to do with Henry? Because Henry comes from New York. <laughs> <laughs> we have lost forty dollars and have forty dollars to go. And Betsy, you're up, please. Ladies, does this have anything to do with being Hoosiers, though? No. No, not really. Not really. Well, you must be maybe charter members of something. You ladies were the nucleus of starting something in Indiana. You were the charter member? No, no, no. No? Does this have to do with your homes more than it has to do with the outside world? No. No, no we already established that it has to do with education. Oh, oh, it oh, it is with education then. Then you are all school teachers? <laughs> yes. 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 You are all teachers from um, different schools because you're from different parts of Indiana. Yes. And... <laughs> $60 down and $20 to go, and Henry, you're up. Did you ladies uh, uh, win some, or uh, establish some record of some kind? No. Did no, you so. win anything? Did they what? Did they win, win anything? Win anything. Uh, at the time, they won something, but it was not a prize. It was not a... Uh, well, did you all, what well, do you mean, was it like a graduation dipl uh, diploma, or did you all graduate from somewhere at the same time? Yes. Or, from now on in, we're going for details, and so we'll give, we'll give the ladies a complete $80. These ladies are celebrating a very special anniversary. Fifty years ago, they graduated from high school together, and to make it even nicer, they are the entire graduating class of 1912. <laughs> What, uh, what was the name of your school? It was uh, Scipio High School, Scipio, Indiana. Scipio High School. And it must have been a good school because, as we have said, they've all since gone on to become teachers. And we're delighted to have them with us tonight because it gives an opportunity for a lady in Indiana to see them all together once more. This lady is watching the show right now at home. Her name is Mrs. Bessie Bigger of North Vernon, Indiana, and she was their teacher 50 years ago. And she's watching tonight. Now, 
Mrs. Bigger, I'm sure it's very hard for you to identify these ladies since you haven't seen them all in quite some time. So we have your graduate, their graduating picture here to help remind you. May we see that picture, please? There's a graduating picture, 1912, and girls, you haven't changed a bit. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what we thought might be fun, because old photographs are, are, are a great sport to play with. We thought for just for fun, we might try and match these contestants up with the pictures, and I'll start because I myself do not know who is who from this photograph. So we'll start from the top of the pyramid here, and I will try to pick out which of these ladies was this young girl. And Mrs. Wilkerson, I have chosen you. I had a little more chance to study you. I don't know whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong. Mrs. Wilkerson, if you'll go to the uh, top mark up there, please. Now, Bill Cullen, I ask you please to choose this lady here. Mrs. Crippen. Mrs. Crippen, Bill Cullen thinks he's got you spotted. If you'll go uh, over on the, this first stair on the far side, please. Now, let's get to uh, Betsy. And Betsy, you choose this young lady right here. Uh, I think that's Mrs. Manford. Mrs. Manford? All right. Henry. There you go. <laughs> you can go and stand in the middle. Now, Henry, is your duty to find this young lady? I don't have either my near uh, glasses or my far glasses. <laughs> um, can I help him? Yeah. Mrs. Give me a clue. Herring, Malcolm. You think, right. you think yeah, that's Mrs. Herring? Herring? You'll go along with Betsy. Yeah. All right, Mrs. Herring, if you'll go up there, please. And stand on this mark right here. There you go. And Faisy, I'm going to ask you to choose this young lady here, please. I from the remaining two ladies. I think that's Mrs. Adams. Mrs. Adams, all right. She'll go and take your place. There you go, from the far side. And of course, that leaves you to last. And we're going to put you on the one remaining spot. And here you have the graduating class as we have arranged them. What do you think, audience? Have we got the right folks? No, you don't think so? Uh, how would you change them around? Put the back one in the front. Put the back one in the front, put the front one in the back. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Now, honestly, I do not know which is which. I personally kept myself ignorant on this score. So you've seen the way we've grouped them, the way they are. Ladies, if there are any mistakes, will you please now take your proper places? Well, that's pretty good. We got three out, we got a three out of the six. It's been a great joy having you with us tonight. You look like a very happy group. May your happiness continue. And thank you so much for being with us. We will be back with you again right after this important message. <laughs>